आर आर बी क्लर्क प्रिलिम पेपर नंबर एटी एट ना इन दिस वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फाइव ना दीज फाइव आर बेस्ड ऑन एट पीपल इन टू पैल रोज एंड पैल रोज एंड एट द सेम टाइम वन आर द पैरामीट इज एडेड टू दिस वन ओनली एट पीपल एंड पैरामीट इज एडेड ना टेल मी इट इज इट कम्स ऑन एट द फर्स्ट ऑफ द सेकेंड प्रायोरिटी Now, first of all, the only four members were there, isn't it? No, only four four members were there. Now, one, two, three, four. These are the four persons, and another four persons were here. Then, first one A, B, C, D, and all of them are facing towards north A to D, and the remaining four persons P, Q, R, S, and facing towards south. Then, D is at the second to the right of the one who is using Santo. Now D is seated second to the right of the one who is using Santur. How many possibilities we have? Now if Santur is here, now D is seated second to the right of Santur. Now this is one such a possibility. And the next one, now if Santur is here, then D is seated second to the right of the one who uses Santur. And Q is seated to the immediate right of the one who is facing D. Now Q is to the immediate right of the one who is facing D. And B does not use Santur and Pius. Now B neither Santur nor Pius. Now B is neither Santur nor Pius. B Pius is also ruled out. The next one. And only one person between Q and the one who uses that all. Now between Q and the one who uses that all, there must be exactly one person. And here again, Q and the one who uses that all, there must be exactly one. Either R or C uses Hamam. Now either R, R C. Now between these two people, one person uses Hamam, and next one, and the one who uses Himalaya sixty second to the right, other one who faces R. Then R's opposite, second to the right. Now he is the person who is using Himalaya. Then what are the different possibilities we have? <coughs> R cannot be here, cannot be here. Hence R must be here. R's opposite, then second to the right. And so D must be using Himalaya in the first case, and in the second case, then if R is here, R can be either here or here. There are two different possibilities, isn't it? If R is here, opposite Himalaya will be here. R is here, opposite Himalaya will be here. Hence, so there are two different possibilities here. Then R does not use that all. R does not use that all clearly given. Hence, R is at this place. Then opposite to R, Himalaya. Who is that person? And D likes Himalaya, and D uses Himalaya. R does not use it at all. R next one S uses Dow. As S uses Dow here, S is here. Now this S uses Dow, and here again S uses Dow. Then next one, and the one who uses P S is it to the immediate right of the one who faces S. S opposite, immediate neighbor, immediate left or right, immediate neighbor. Immediate neighbor. Now, who is the person? The one who is using peers. Now, peers can be either left hand side to D or to the right hand side. Then again, peers sits to the immediate neighbor of the one who faces S. Hence, here in this one, peers must be here. And only two people between C and B. Now, in between C and B, there must be exactly two people. In this case, C and B, two people is not possible. Anyhow, B cannot be here. Hence, where should this be? And B is here. And two people between B and C. C is here. And the person who is left on is A, and here in this one P is the person left, and B neither uses peers, and B does not use peers. Peers cannot be here, hence peers must be A. Must I repeat that? The next one R and C. Now between these two, one person uses Hamam, and C cannot use Hamam, hence R must use Hamam. Then if R uses Hamam, and only two people between C and B, and Q does not use Lux, and so who is using Lux here? B uses flux. Now, if B uses flux, then what else is left over? Now, synthol Q uses synthol. Then, now this is about question numbers one to five. Now, only four four persons were there. Though there is a parameter given, maybe that is the reason you have shifted this one to the second priority. But if only four persons, it is always easier. Ma three three persons, it's a chance there. Ona ga da, amti jige the board. And four four is the lowest. And In the difficulty level, and so definitely you need to consider this one as first priority. Now this is about one to five. The next one, now question number six onwards. 
Now 6 onwards it is based on which category? Now first priority, 7 friends were there, they got different marks in an examination but not necessarily in the same order, isn't it? Then, now these 7 persons are being compared in the marks they have got. Now 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now these 7 persons come into condition number 1 and only 2 people got less marks than R. Less than R, how many people? Only 2. And S got more marks than U, yes more than U but less than V. And W got less marks than U, but not the lowest. W got less than U, but not the lowest. X got more marks than U. Now X has got more marks than U as well, isn't it? And so what is the possibility we have? W is at this place. And if W, X got more marks than U, but less than S, that means X must be in between these two. Then what is the other we have? V is, the next one X, U and W, and the person of our T must be here. Done. Now this is about question number 6 to 8. The next one, ninth one. How many such pairs of letters are there in the word magnetic? Now in the word magnetic, how many such pairs are there? M A Z N E T A C. Now in this starting with the first one, M N O P Q R S T A B C D E F G G H I J K L N O P Q R and E F G H and so left to right we cannot be able to find even a single pair and again in the reverse C D E F G H I J I J K L M N O and T E F G E and G there is a pair and H I N O P and so on hence how many pairs we have only one and it is given in choice to question number 9. The next one 10 onwards. Now 10 onwards they are based on syllogisms here. Only a few doctors are teaching. Only a few doctors are teachers but not all. That means only some of the doctors are teachers but not all. And next one, all teachers are students. This entire teacher is a part of the student. And no engineer is a teacher. No intersection between engineer and a teacher. Then coming to first one, no engineer is a doctor. That is definitely true as of now. And all students can be doctors. Then first one, it is a definite conclusion. No engineer is a doctor to make this one false. Now we need to write all and some engineers are doctors. Is it possible or not? And alternate diagram to previous conclusion false. The next one, all students can be doctors. This entire student can be a part of this doctor or not? Now tell me whether I can able to write doctor like this or not? Yes. Hence it is a possible only two follows. That is choice three, question number 10. The next one, 11th one. No chair is a table. Now this is chair and a table, no chair is a table and some tables are benches, table and a bench and all these tools are benches. Now this entire stool is a part of this bench. All benches can never be chairs. Now here he is claiming that this entire bench can never be a part of this chairs at all. Now this is same as all benches or chairs is not possible. Both are one and the same. Now this can stands for what? Possibility. Never means not and the same question can be written as all benches are chairs. All benches are chairs is not possible. All benches are chairs is not possible. And now here is claiming that this entire bench cannot be a part of chair at all. Then what we need to do? Now we need to check out whether there is a possibility of making these benches under these chairs or not. Then in order to make this one possible, my diagram of these chairs must be like this. Then if I write chairs like this, then only all benches are chairs is possible. Can I draw like this? If I draw like this, the statement, no chair is a table will become false. Statement invalid, for me it is not possible. He is also claiming that it is not possible. Hence so whatever he claimed is definitely true. Then, then coming to the second one, some tables are stool. Table and stool, there is no intersection between these two. This is a definite conclusion, only one follows and it is choice for question number 11. Then question number 12, no eraser is a pencil, no intersection between eraser and a pencil. Then next one, and only a few pencils are sharpness, some pencils are sharpness but not all, and some pens are erasers. Now some pens are eraser, pen is here. Then all pencils are pens. Now this entire pencil is a part of this pen. Now here it is a definite conclusion, as of now no pencil is pen. Next one, some sharpness are erasers. Sharpness is here, erasers is here, 
and this again a definite conclusion neither one not two what is your answer here choice one question number 12 then next one 13 onwards now in this question numbers 13 to and 13 to how many questions 17 now 13 to 17 how many people are there there are some six people and p q r s t and you are the six people who are born in different dates of either 10th or 25th of three different months what are the months we have july and july 10th and 25th july 10th and 25th then next one august and november august 10th august 25th and november 10th and november 25th then now in this one july august and november now all together how many persons are there six and six persons each one of them born in a different date then coming to condition number one now p was born in the month of having 31 days but not in an odd numbered days odd numbered of days but not in an odd numbered day now p was born in the month having 31 days how many possibilities are there to this p and there are p can be in the month of july or august and so four possibilities out of which odd numbered days but not and but not in an odd numbered now p was born in the month having 31 days but not an odd numbered of days and but not in an odd numbered date isn't it but not in an odd numbered date means and this person can be must be an even numbered date. now p must be even numbered date either in the month of july or august and p can be either in the month of 10th of july or 10th of august mean together and only two persons between p and q in between p and q there must be exactly two people and here there must be two people in between p and q and t was born before r and u was born immediately before q now u is born immediately before q and next one t was born before r as many people born after r and u r and u we need to have exactly equal now before u there are two after this r there must be two q and q must be in the same not possible now here u is here then where should this r r must be here and if r is here and t must be before this one and who is the person after here yes yes must be on 25th of august now this is about 13 to 17 now first priority now second priority now definitely under the first priority then next one 18 onwards now in this question number 18 to 22 now they are based on set of words 18 to 22 set of words now if all the consonants are changed to the previous letter and vowels are changed to the next letter now vowel it is a plus one and consonant minus one then how many words are found will have an IP, alphabet api address alphabet api address a has become b and uv op ab and ef then consonant minus one h g s r and k this is j d d c now this is s and this is q and c minus one is b hence the letters were repeated then here r minus one q g minus one f then how many are there now cam and r e g in these two words the letters were repeated to that is choice one question number 18 then 19th one if all the given words are arranged in alphabetical order from left to right alphabetical order 1 2 3 4 5 then then how many letters in english alphabetical are there between the third letter or the second word from the right now second word from the right what is the second word here r e g now in the second word between third letter what is the third letter we have g now between g and the second letter of the second word from the left second word from the left is what has what is the second letter we have a now between a and g and what is the difference here six six minus one there are five letters now five that is choice three question number 19 must have been the next one 20th now in this 20 now in the first and the third letters of all the words are interchanged then how many meaningful words can be formed then tell me how many meaningful words can be formed here now here s c h and d u k and p o t pot isn't it and p o t pot is one then what is the next one here m a c m a c what do you mean with this word mac ma g e r now m a c do you have any word of the type m a c mac no Okay, it is an acronym. Now here, P O T for choice four. Huh? 
then 21st. Now in this question number 21, and if the first letter of all the words is changed to the next letter, and first letter change it to what? Change it to the next letter, and then how many words should have more than one vowel? And first letter more than one vowel, H has become I, and K L, and T U. Here there are two vowels, two vowels, and C D R it is S. Hence so there are two choice three question number 21. Then 22nd. And if all the words are arranged in alphabetical order from right to left, then what will be second from the right hand? Right to left in the alphabetical order, second from the right is nothing but the second lowest. Now first lowest is what? C M and the next one is has that is choice for question number 22. 